In problem one, we are asked to sketch a rectangular prism with a width of four cubes and a height of seven cubes, like that. Okay, now we're going to draw horizontal lines to decompose the figure into seven layers, like that. So we have four cubes in each layer, and we can count these dots over here like that. As we decompose the shape, we know that the number of layers is, let's check, seven layers, and the number of cubes in each layer is four. Now in problem two, we can now complete the given table. The number of layers is going to be what? Seven. And the number of cubes in each layer is four. Now to calculate the volume of the rectangular prism, we will add the cubes in all the layers. So they are going to be what? 28 cubes. With that, the volume is 28 cubic centimeter. Now we can solve problems three and four using the same idea. So we are going to sketch the same rectangular prism. This time we're going to draw vertical lines instead of horizontal lines to so decompose the figure into four slices. Now when we divide the shape by vertical lines instead of horizontal, the cube will be divided into slices, exactly like the drawing that we have over here. We have four slices and each slice contains seven cubes, but the volume will remain 28 cubic centimeter. This is because the number of units of the cubes did not change. As the figure takes up the same exact space, but it is decomposed differently. Now let's complete the table in the same way. Now let's think of problem five. We want to decompose the shape into layers or slices in three different ways. So this is the rectangular prism that we have given. We can decompose it horizontally into layers or vertical slices. Now the first way, if we draw horizontal line, and decompose it like this into two layers. Now the figure will be composed of two layers. Let's check over here. Now each layer has 12 cubes. Six are visible in front of us and six are behind them. Now let's fill the table in problem six. The number of layers is two and the number of cubes in each layer is 12. Now the volume of the rectangular prism is what? 24 cubic centimeters. Now it's your turn. I will give you time to decompose the figure in two other ways other than the one we've just used. Let's start. Now that we're back, let's decompose the figure while we are solving. You can check your answers and record them in the table in problem six. Now we can draw the vertical lines and divide it into six slices. Now each slice contains four cubes. Now of course the volume will be the same, don't forget, as we already know. Now when we add the cubes, they will come out to be 24 cubic units. So the volume will still be 24 cubic centimeters. Now let's fill the table. Now here, the number of layers is going to be what? Six. And the number of cubes in each layer is four. And the volume will not change, so it will remain as 24. Now is there anyone who couldn't figure out a third way? We can decompose the figure this time by dividing it vertically, not in the same way. Now this time from this side, not from the face in front of us, like that. So we're going to slide it like this, slice it like that. Now we have two slices, right? In these two slices in front of us, each contains 12 cubes. So each one of them has 12 cubes and the volume is going to also be what? 24 cubic centimeters. Now we can fill the table together. Let's check. So we have two layers. 
the number of cubes in each layer is going to be 12 and the volume of the prism does not change and it stays as 24 cubic centimeters. Now you can solve problems 7 and 8 in the same exact way. Thus we were able to decompose the shapes into different layers and slices and that helped us calculate the volume in more than one way. Now if we, are, if we already know the volume and want to create a figure and divide it into layers and slices with the design that we want. تقدر تتابع كل دروسك على تطبيق مدرستنا بلس مدرستنا المستقبل يبدأ الآن